Start it off. Drill. Away. Splat. Drill. No Hadouken this time. Hadouken. Tiger uppercut. Come on, that's how we started it off last time. Come on, we was talking about Black Goku and shit. Yeah, Black Goku. Uh, 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 Super Saiyan 5, uh, uh, Ultra Instinct. Ultra, yeah, come on, man. I'm gonna take you there, man. Dragon Ball Super going crazy. Yo, I had to go Ultra Instinct in the the strip club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, get him up. Sauce. Sauce. We got Sauce walking. Sauce, man. Oi! Oi! Drill! Yo, y'all in it. You know, I like the way you move, man. Cause Please you know the me. independent maneuvering of how y'all it's, it's so powerful, man. Like it's that business. Yeah. How y'all making this happen with no label budget or no Cause we got our own budget. Oh, let me see. We get the budget. Let me Pulling see. We show. make budget oh, every okay. We get the budget. We, we is the budget. T S F business, we the budget. Oh, we been okay. the budget. Yo. We came in the rap game with a budget and, and they loved it. And we gonna keep a budget. You know what I'm saying? I got your marketing right here. I got your wardrobe right here. I got your PR right here. I got your travel room and board right here. Yeah, man, touring and extra expenses and leisure and leisure. We even got a couple of this little 4,000 for you to throw in the club right at the bottom. You might get you a stripper or something. Maybe Rihanna might give you a retweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what we do. We know how to get it and come back with it. How, y- how y'all make how y'all make that happen for the people that don't know? Uh, Basic. The sauce. The sauce. Believing in that sauce, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Selling the flavor, you know what I'm saying? Having a conversation that's really mm-hmm. gonna change the situation and change the nation. All the time. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we out here really teaching growth and, and showing people how to turn a quote into a motorboat. So you know what I mean? It just is, it, 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 it's just more or less of a process in, in the system that we was able to develop amongst each other. Mm. And we like implemented as far as like with, with, with artists, with music, with fashion, with style, yeah. with clubs, with promoters, with women, just all these different aspects of life that we, we learned the way to harness it and, and, and turn it into a product that could be advertised and sold to the public for something for them to receive and, and go take it and use it in, in their life. It's just, it just like, it just like manufacturing a bottle of hot sauce and, and you put it in, 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 in Walmart and nobody want to eat chicken without the sauce no more. Of so course you, not. You know what I mean? It's That's all really part like, of the recipe. It, it, we just, it don't, and the, the fact that my brother Sosa man and me played a Sancho Sauce, like the, the, the fact that we had that understanding and that vision and we understood, okay, we not coming into the rap game like broke or poor or looking at hip hop or music like this is gonna be the thing that changed my life or not this, not to say music not life changing but to say if music don't work out for us then I might have to get a job but we not gonna be successful we not gonna be able to enjoy life the way we enjoy life it was never that for us music is a, le- a level of elevation and it's, it's a duty and a job for us mm-hmm. to represent Texas through music so. It just, we, we looked at the music thing like, okay, we don't gotta sell our souls and, and sell our identity or like give, like change what we believe in to be successful. We already successful, so we gonna bring our success and, and merge it with our music and our style, stand on that, and hopefully inspire minds or people ideal like us will see that and they wanna partner with us and do bigger situations. We trying to be a corporation. We want to sell water like 50 cent Well, yeah, if I didn't know water, I get it, man. How's the, how's the town feeling about Westbrook coming through? It's over with. It's, 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 yeah. Y'all think y'all went in the chip? Oh, yeah. I don't care if we win. Me, we personally. Going, we going all the way. I, we don't care if we going all the way. Hey, man, all I, I care know. about... Yeah. Tell us, I said, we going to win. We can't be on the flow at the major show. You know what I'm saying? Mm. On the wood, well, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, call me Sprite Lee. You like Spike Lee? Be on the floor with every Knicks game. Hey man, as soon as that Houston Rockets season five, I'm, I've been supporting James Harden. I've been supporting Chris Paul. Why right? he used to ball? Yeah, I mean all the way to Louis Scola. Sorry ass. Louis Scola. Yeah, the, yeah. I'm a real Rockets fan. This is tatted on my arm. This is like a real charm. I'm I'm really ace time. Like then my teams, Houston Rockets. 
Houston, Texas, the Arrows, the Astros, we baseball championship. We win, lose, or draw, we gonna rock out for our state and our culture. Like we ain't, we not, we don't bandwagon. We went Kev, we never got LeBron James. You see, I remember when Luis Scola was our top player. And we appreciated him. He, he's trash, but he took us to the playoffs every year. We, we got to the first and second round of the playoffs every year that Louis Scola was on the rocket. So it's like, now that we finally get an opportunity to have superstars, huge superstars, like they're actually healthy. Cause we had y'all, me, and Tracy McGrady together, but they wasn't healthy. We had Steve Francis, but he was young and he had an understanding and he had a vision that Russell Westwood got. So to have two MVP players on the same team, if we win, we win. It ain't, it ain't nothing that we never did before. We got two championships back to back. The two years Jordan went in the league, we won both of them. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it ain't, it ain't we not know. That wasn't that long ago. That was 1995. I was alive. He was alive. Yeah. We I remember kids. that era. Yeah, but it, that was an era that was important. So with that to be said, it ain't about the championship. Forget all that. It's about what this arena, this compact center finna be like when you got Sauce Walker in the building, Travis Scott, the college Jenners, uh, Kanye West, his wife, Sosa Man, Wiz Khalifa, Megan Stallion, this person, that person, Wiz Khalifa, Bob Dole, uh, Barack Obama, uh, 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 Donald Trump. We talking about who don't want to see LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden play against each other in Houston, Ooh. Texas. And then go to the strip club and be live that night. Let's go. Get you some chicken and some, some syrups and weeds and everything that you need. Go to the Galleria and see a mama see them with a booty as big as a is a is a is a uh uh a Coliseum. And, and any athlete ever showed you love that surprised you? Like well, yeah, man, shout out to my boy Von Miller, man. Oh, TSL support. That's my boy. Von Miller. Von Miller, man. Official sauce. He really dripping. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy uh, 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 Andre Johnson, OG. OG. Uh, shout out to me. I always, I always show me support. I always like my pictures. Shout out to uh, Rudy Gay, the Olympic uh, running athlete. He always liked my pictures. Like, I would have never expected Rudy Gay to be a Sauce Walker fan or like post my songs on his story. He listens to my music a lot. Uh, my bro DeAndre Hopkins, he took my the sauce and knees pose. If anybody that's fan of football, yeah. if you see any time DeAndre Hopkins score a touchdown, he gonna do this right here. Let's go. And we all know that's the sauce and knees pose. That's Ooh. Houston thing. That's Houston culture. He one of my big, you know what I'm saying, supporters from the NFL. Whenever I do certain songs or if I got a, a single I want to promote, he do highlight reels and highlight um, stuff to my music. He always shout me out on Instagram. The whole Houston, that Texas squad. Jared Green, too, man. He rocked with Yeah, Jared Green. Green. Yeah. Hard, 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 hard. PJ Tucker. Yeah, Tucker. Eric Moreland. My bro, Eric Moreland, man. Shout out to Eric Moreland, man. H Time, Texas, man. Uh, Toronto champion 2019 for the Raptors, man. That's my brother right there, NBA. You know what I'm saying? He also a big, big support. Joints I want to run through. Um, how do you feel about like the negative reaction Lean is getting right now, man? Since you know that's really Houston culture, you know what I mean. For sure, a lot, uh, I know that for a fact. It's I'm from New York, but, really, but I know that people don't really. I mean, you know, people. It is because everybody's people like, yo, they feeling like the seizures and the people, teeth coming out. Like, it's no, not that, it's, though, they don't understand. Though. All right, that's not. We ain't making people have no seizures. Mm -hmm. And now that ain't what's on to make people have seizures. Because I've been drinking lean forever. Even our twins been drinking lean forever. Like in, in I never had a seizure or none that they saying to me. That that takes a mixture of drugs to do all the time. Mm. Drugs in my body. Or, you know what happened or with Matt also, Miller and everything. Also, too? also, also though, you gotta incorporate this as well. A lot of these people that's having these seizures and having these uh, reactions and unhealthy situations due to doing these drugs, these are people that already have medical situations mm. and, and, and medical uh, deficits, like uh, uh, problems and deficits before they already start doing drugs. Mm -hmm. If you were epileptic, like Lil Wayne is, like Mac Miller was, that means you have epilepsy. That means if a bunch of flashing lights get in front of you, you might catch a seizure, or you might just catch a seizure just per periodically for no reason when you just relaxing. You might take a hard breath and start hyperventilating and catch a seizure. Now, if you that type of person and you take certain pills and medication for epilepsy, you're not supposed to be sipping syrup. You're not supposed to be popping other or uh, narcotics or, 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 or pharmaceutical drugs that can send a, a reaction to what you already have 
a chemical imbalance in your body with. Codeine is not meant for you. That's one thing. And a lot of these artists, a lot of people don't be want to say that and speak up on that. They already have a health issue. And then they sip, they feel like, well, I'm I'm still a regular person like anybody else. I should be able to smoke weed and sip drink and do whatever the new drug is to do. And they overdo it. Another thing that's really the real issue and the main issue about the sip and drink and the culture and, and how it's getting backlash or being ridiculed for being a problem or whatever is the main thing that you just said before everything. The knowledge, the knowing what and how. Guess what? If you was to jump in the car and drive on the freeway and you didn't know what a red light and a green light meant and you didn't know what a left turn meant and a yield meant, I guarantee you, Two hours later or the next day, you're gonna die or get in a crash pretty much. And it, because you're doing something that you don't know, have no information on how to do it. You just say, it's a car. You get in it, you turn it on, you put your feet Man. on the pedal and you turn. No, it got rules and regulations to it just like anything else. When you sip syrup, you're supposed to drink water. When you sip syrup, you're supposed to exercise. When you sip syrup, you're supposed to sacrifice and substitute other liquids that you usually would drink. You can't drink them as much because you drink and serve now. When you sip drink, you drink and not only are you drinking the sugar in the in the cough medicine mm -hmm. that's inside the, the codeine, you drinking the sodas that's carbonated. They got soda in it, they got uh uh what's the Breaking name of the shit? Uh not the acid, uh not, not the sugar cane. What's the shit? Caffeine. Yeah, all caffeine. The, caffeine. All these different. It's charging your heart up. Yeah, and okay. you giving yourself diabetes if you are not diluting it with drinking water. If you are not running, exercising, sweating, when you sip syrup, okay, compared to other drugs, weed, marijuana, cocaine, all these different type of drugs, they stay in your system thirty days, two, three weeks. Uh, uh, 45, 48 hours, 72 hours, whatever. Codeine stay in your system 24 hours, one day. So in, in actuality, how poisonous or how detrimental is it really to your body? Or is it the fact that people are doing this drug because they see the hype of it, it yeah. on Instagram or they see the they hear rappers rapping about it, but they're not really doing the research. They're not really meeting people from Houston and asking them, hey, bro, you've been sipping drink for 20, 30 years. How you still in shape? How you still alive? How you still healthy? So like somebody who smoke weed or drink alcohol, that's why they, they, they behoove you and they let you know, hey, don't drink and drive. You can sip syrup and drive all day for a million years. You might fall asleep at a light app because you're on some, and that's like, and people don't even do that no more because that was a different era of codeine when it was a lot stronger, more potent. It ain't like that no more. One last one, y'all super sports fan. One dude that shows love to the culture is Drake. Yeah. What's, what happened? Cause you know Toronto, even though they lost Kawhi, they still good. What's gonna happen if y'all meet in the finals, Houston and Toronto? Toronto over with cause they lost Kawhi. Let me but you know over. they won more games when Kawhi wasn't, their record was actually better. Record championship. Oh, you right. So it's record it's championship. It's Best record, but Steph Curry won the championship. Nobody cares about you. Thank you. Right. Or the year after. Championship, now we talking. Now that's on NBA 2K right now, Kawhi Leonard has got the same rating as LeBron James. Fits to be better. 97 to 97. Mm. Steph Curry, there was that high at one point in time, his team being number one. He weighed down in 91, 92, 93. Yeah. Why? Because at the end of the day, life and the true goal of this is about the win and the success. That's why, that's why you ask the question about the Let me ask this then, I'll ask you and so, last question. This, I've seen this on, um, on Instagram. Would you rather be a Hall of Famer with no rings or a super dope six man like Jamal Crawford and have four rings? Hall of Famer with no rings? I'll definitely be a Hall of Famer. I need my four rings. No, I need Hall of Fame with no rings. With no rings? You wanna know oh, you why? No, no rings. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? You wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because that's basically saying I'm this uh, I'm 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 Vince Carter. I'm and Steve I'm Robert Nash. Or. Who? Robert Orr. I'm Steve Nash. Now I'm Robert. Seven rings? Big I'm shot, Bob. Don't do that. He got you two chips. Yeah, I understand. Him off, and the, off the bench. <laughs> Nobody knows you. Nah, niggas no big. Yeah, I love Robert Orr. I love Robert Orr. He, I love the whole Robert Orr in the story, but guess what? <laughs> He'll never be Charles Barkley. No rings included. You know Jordan kills Barkley every time, B. He does. We love Jordan, but once again, that's not what you said. You said six man, extra man. You didn't say superstar with rings. You said an extra person that kind of got rings because I scored a couple buckets. Yeah. But at the same time, I really was just there. I could Derek Fisher. 
Oh, you talking about that, 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 that's the truth. You yeah, that's the truth. You you're, you're basically saying you basically saying uh uh Derek Fisher is better than Gary Payton. No, I'm not saying that. That is what you no, said. No. You I'm said saying, nah. uh, you said a Hall of Famer with, with no, no rings versus to a great six man with, four with a couple rings. rings. Yeah. Eric, that's Derek Fisher. Yeah, but he ain't uh, trash. I'd rather be Derek, Derek Fisher than Gary Payton. Derek Fisher you rather who get you say who? I'd rather be Derek Fisher than Gary Payton. No, you win. Four yeah. rings. You rather, okay, well, let's you say gotta win. Allen Iverson, that's what we really supposed to be saying. Allen Iverson, Hall of Famer, no rings, multiple MVP, uh, one MVP, multiple All-Star things, not a championship in sight. I don't think Allen Iverson has won a conference final. If he did, he won one. One. And, oh, one. and you rather be Derek Fisher, Robert Orr, yes. at an opposite? Yes. No, so what's your $40 million Reebok deal? You still what's, making what's that money? Whole You're not you still making $40 make, million. Said, dollars. What? You, didn't make, you made $6 million every year. You made $3 For million life, every year. You can, you, this is how you're going to be introduced. Four-time NBA champion. He's going to show you how to be a winner in fucking life. Allen Iverson, idol, icon, <laughs> God. <laughs> a re lifetime rebound contract, still rich, can, can, can do anything that it's, it's his it's his character to make him not do the other stuff. Like Kevin Garnett was on his way to being like an Adam Iverson. Yeah. Kevin Garnett is just a different business mind, yeah. so he don't mind being an interview, having a talk show, working with ESPN, doing stuff like that, like Charles Barkley did, or other greats like Tracy McGrady is moving into. But a person like Adam Iverson, he was so big of a star, so big. Of a, of a, he transcended the sport. I'm not ignorant to that. Right. So with that being said, when you compare athletes of his caliber compared to Andre Iguodala, come on. And I love Andre Iguodala. I'm an Iguodala fan, but nobody would ever say that Iguodala is better than Allen Iverson and Steve Nash. I'm never gonna say that. I, I but, want the rings. I want the rings. Then the Hall of Fame. That's just me. Yeah, not Ooh. to be a, a superstar Hall of Famer though. No, I would rather be a because and no, it wrong. You can I, go I, down I, in history being a superstar that that was so great, but it wasn't your fault that you didn't get the ring. It was the team fault, the coaching. Let fault. me ask you this: Who's who's the second leading scorer of all time? Come on, bro. Who? Kobe. Carl Malone. Oh, Carl Malone. You know why you don't know? He ain't got no rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What now? Nah. All time. Nah, he probably was. No, no, but no, no, he still is. Okay, but even still, with that being said, you gotta think though. You right, Carl Malone, but and he's a Carl great. Malone is not who you really think of with the Jazz. Like you really think of Stockton. Come on. You really think of that shooter, Yo, we bro? We can go all day. What do you think about Carl Malone, Mel, man? Show. Yeah, man. So, you think about so the you dad, think about the Mel. You think about the Mel man getting that three point game winning shot in his face. I'm talking about, <laughs> like, it was certain NBA players that was killers, bro, that was real hometown love heroes. Like, do Dr. J got a dream? Who? Dr. J. One. Okay. But see how close he is to not having one? Like, it's a few. I just, yeah, they just not no, rolling no. out my brain right now. So, man, sauce one. 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 Let them know where they can find you at, where they can get everything from you, man. All y'all needs when you pray to God, pray to Ooh. the sauce gods. Yeah. We'll get you a sauce blessing. A little oh, sauce sure. blessing. You know what I mean? I can hold like 20 bucks. <laughs> he looked at me like, nah, you ain't I part mean, of the I budget. Got, I, I got a job for you right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise. Hey, man. Right, man. Yo, can we end it with a hot uh, uh, dude? Anybody can get hot in this five, please. with a big one, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know you, yeah. Yeah.